Here's how to survive your first day on campus. Because of COVID, we have to do two extra things when we come in. We fill out a quick survey called Safe Insight, and we get our temperature checked. After you do that, you can go here, here, or here. Let's start with this left side. This is one of the classrooms rumored to be your main lecture hall for next year. Professors usually use PowerPoints and rarely use the whiteboard. All lectures are recorded, so you can watch them later, but we really recommend to attend class to not get behind. There are a lot of classes, so make sure you're on top of things. Next is this metal section. This is how you get to the lower labs, and this is floor B, M. When you go straight ahead, you'll see two lab rooms on the left and on the right. On the left, we have the lab you'll be in for gross anatomy, neuroanatomy, and human bioscience for your first year. There are all the anatomy models and the very cool anatomage tables, which are touchscreen tables that let you virtually dissect a cadaver. And we have two, very cool. Now to the right, we have your first year clinical skills lab and for extra practice if you need it. There's another lab upstairs for practice as well, but this bottom lab is high key the better lab. All right, now onto the right side. First, you scan in with your very cool ID card. And let's talk about the elevators for a sec. So our school has a lot of floors. So if you need to go to a higher floor than the fifth floor, you have to go to the fifth floor and then transfer to another elevator to the higher floors. The front elevators don't take you to BM, so you have to take the back elevators for that. And you can always take the stairs if you want to get some leg day in. Now that we did floor one, let's work our way up. Floor two is my favorite floor. There are plenty of study rooms on this floor and my favorite part, the sunlight and the views of Bryant Park. This year we had integrative seminar in this room and this is the second floor lab that I was talking about earlier. More practice space if the lower lab is full. There are also lockers both here and on the third floor. Floor three is the student center and lunchroom. Again, some great views of Bryant Park and the city. This is also where your mailboxes are. The mailboxes are unlocked and marked with your name so people can surprise you with gifts or put things in there for you. If you're hungry, there are a lot of good snacks and drinks and the vending machines. And if you brought your own food, there are many microwaves and refrigerators. And here are the third floor lockers. Floor 3M is our fitness center, which is unfortunately closed because of COVID. That's all I have to say about it for now. The last floor we're going to talk about is the library. The library is quiet study only, except for in the study rooms. There's a small cafe on the left with coffee and tea. It's about a dollar a cup, so much less than any other coffee shop in the city. Sometimes clubs put snacks in here during exam weeks too. Another perk of the library is the free printing. You just log on to this computer, print whatever you need printed, and then head over to the printer to pick up your papers. Here's Rodnell being cheesy. And here are the study rooms. Most of them have a TV and an HDMI cord, and some even have whiteboards. Again, another great view of the city. Now let's talk about dress code. To just regular lectures, you can wear whatever you want as long as it's appropriate. To the clinic floors or clinical labs, you must wear business casual with your blue jacket, or you can buy royal blue scrubs. They must be royal blue. And now let's get a sneak peek of your lockers. So here's me just opening up my locker. My locker is in the corner, so it's a little bit smaller than the normal locker, but here it is. And all lockers have outlets. And this is one of the things you'll find in your locker. This is the best box in the world. It has all of your clinical equipment. It's also very expensive, <laughs> but all your equipment is in one box, so it's very convenient and it's also a rollable. If anything wasn't clear, or if you need any clarification, we're always here to help. Thanks.